particularly with respect to equity and excellence for all, the agenda, AP for all, college access for all, uh, pre-K for all, uh, efforts around disproportionality with respect to discipline. Um, and while having those discussions about what we're currently trying to do, one of our thought partners, Vincent at the table, um, tried to ensure that we remain mindful of what the practical, proof, positive results that can be clearly conveyed to parents and community are. Um, so moving away from what he termed rosy or flowery language, but direct, plain language that would resonate with parents and communities. And for that part, I want to turn the mic over to Vincent because I can't say it as well as he did. Thank you. You know this weird about Kevin as a table speaker? But he is such a humble, educated person and activist. He wants to share that. So what I'm going to do is follow your lead, and I'm going to pass the mic to LaShawn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, this is education right here. Do y'all realize that? Different degrees. So we all came together. LaShawn. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. It's okay. Happy is back. For another trip. 20th time. <laughs> 20th time. <laughs> so it's true. Vincent did keep us, you know, held us accountable here um, for being able to engage the community. Um, we were very concerned about how the initiatives that we have are being translated to parents. And then ultimately, um, how is this work translated to our young people? Um, when we talk a lot about um, AP for All, for example, what are the wraparound supports to ensure that parents can support their young people in having access to the courses? How do we map back and think about pre-AP supports and resources? How do you make this work relevant to a young person so that they can understand the benefits and to a family as well? So something that he made um, me think about from working with the Department of Education, when we think from 3K or pre-K straight up to college access or AP, what are the entry points for parents and how do we communicate this work to parent coordinators in a way so that they're communicating to parents in a larger community so that everyone can be engaged and on the same page about what we mean when we say equity and excellence for all. And finally, we spoke a lot about culturally relevant pedagogy and ensuring that young people have teachers and school leaders at the front of the classroom, leading the school community, who look like them, who reflect their culture, so that young people can see themselves in leadership positions and in teaching positions in the, in the school community, but also teaching our young people about their history from very early on, not beginning with slavery. So their history before that, so that they understand the greatness that they have within them. So, thank you. I hope I did you proud. Well, team, we all supposed to. I know. Do the mic. That's awesome. Yes, it was. That was great. Thank you for that. That was really good.